Hi guys, today we're going to study how to set up skills of drawings in AutoCAD and if you're going to watch till the end of this video, you're going to learn how to put together different skills of multiple drawings in one paper. Let's begin. This method is for metric or for those who use meters as standards of measurements in their drawings. We make all the drawings in the model space, so please check if the model tab in your AutoCAD is the active tab. Now let us create a simple box, say 20 by 10 meters. So I type REC for rectangle, then enter, then I put 20, then 10, and then enter. Now let us put a color on the rectangle. And then I will copy the rectangle and put a different color on the new rectangle. And then let's copy this rectangle again and put again a different color. Now let's go back to the first rectangle. And let us measure the object. If we get 20 on the x axis and then 10 on the y axis, the exact value that we put in the scale of the drawing is 1 is to 1. Let us leave that scale of 1 is to 1 in the model space for now. Let's go to the layout space. Click on the layout tab. Now let us make a paper. Let's say a 24 by 18 inches paper. Let's type REC for rectangle, then enter. Then we put in the value of 24 by 18, then enter, and then zoom extends. Now this paper has no unit yet, so we will convert this to inches since paper sizes are in inches. We can first put a border on this paper so that when we convert this to inches, the border lines will automatically be converted to inches as well. So we will offset this rectangle by let's say 1 for 1 inches. Then let's put a color on the border line. Now, we can proceed to convert this rectangle to inches. We type SC for scale, then enter, then select the rectangle, then select a base point, then type 25.4 because 20, there are 25.4 mm in one inch, and then enter, and then a zoom extends. Now we have a 24 by 18 inches paper with 1 inch borders. Let us first set the plotting scale. Going back to the rectangle that we did a while ago in the model space that is 1 is to 1. If the scale of the drawing inside the model is 1 is to 1, the plotting scale is 0.1 on the plot or printer settings when we are going to print the drawings. So we will scale again this paper by point 0.1 on the layout. We type SC for scale, then enter, then select objects, then select again a base point, then we put point 0.1, then enter, then zoom extends. Now, this paper is ready for viewing and scaling the drawings in the model. 
Now, we will view on the layout space the drawings that we did on the model space. The command is MV for model view. We type MV then enter. Now, we will window on the area where we want to place our drawing. There will appear on the window all the drawings that we did on the model space. And again, these objects are all one is to one in scale in model space. If the scale of the drawings in the model is one is to one like we measured a while ago, we can scale the drawings to the scale that we want. For example, let us scale the first object by one is to 100. Let's double click inside the window. Now inside the MV window, we are viewing the objects in the model. Like when I am zooming the drawings, we are actually getting inside the model space from the layout space outside. Now uh, let us zoom on the first rectangle. To scale this drawing, the command is Z for zoom. Now, inside this window, we will type Z on the command prompt for zoom, then S for scale. Now, let us go back to the drawing scale of 1 to 1 in the model space. If the drawing scale in the model is 1 to 1, the value that we put in the numerator is 100 and the value that we put in the denominator is the scale that we want the drawing to have. So if we are going to scale the drawing by 1 is to 100, we will type 100 for the numerator and 100 for the denominator for the scale. And we will add XP after the value of the denominator. Now we have a 1 to 100 scale drawing. You can type PS to go back to paper space or you can simply double click outside the MV rectangle and we can resize the MV window just enough for the first object to fit. Just click on the MV window and select the grips or we can just stretch the MV window. And then let's put label and dimension on the drawing. Let us just put dimension first. Let us put dimension on the length and the width of the object. Let us label the first rectangle as 1 is to 100 on the layout space. And then zoom extends. Now, by observing what we just did, this is now the 20 by 10 meter rectangle with a 1 is to 100 scale inside the 24 by 18 inches paper. Now, if we want another drawing here on the same paper with a different scale, is it possible? Yes, we can make another window or we can just copy this rectangle or the MV of the drawing. And then we just repeat the process. We double click inside this MV window or MV rectangle. Then zoom extend first. 
now zoom on the second rectangle. To scale this, we tap Z for zoom, then enter. Then S for scale. Now we will put a different scale, let's say 1 is to 50. Again, if the drawing scale in the model space is 1 is to 1, the value that we put in, the numerator is 100, and the value that we put in the denominator is the scale that we want the drawing to have. Since we are going to scale now the drawing by 1 is to 50, we'll put 100 on the numerator and 50 now on the denominator. And again, we will add x feet after the denominator. And then let's type PS or double click outside the rectangle of the MV to go back to layout or paper space. And then we can again resize the MV window just enough for the second object to fit. Let's put again label and dimension for the second drawing after we adjust the drawings. Let's put dimension on the second rectangle. Let's put dimension on the length. and the width and let's just adjust the drawings let's just copy the text and then edit now let us label the second object as 1 is to 50 and then zoom extends. Now we have a 1 is to 50 scale drawing of a 20 by 10 meter rectangle inside a 24 by 18 inches paper. And we can still add another drawing with a different scale inside the same paper we just copy this rectangle or the MV window of either of the two drawings and we just repeat again the process we double click inside this MV rectangle or window now zoom on the third rectangle to scale this we type Z for zoom, then enter, then S for scale. Now uh, we put a different scale, let's say 1 is to 200. Since we are going to scale now the drawing by 1 is to 200, we will put 100 on the numerator and 200 now on the denominator, then add XP. So now we have a 1 is to 200 scale drawing. Again, just type PS or double click outside the MV window to go back to paper space. And then let's resize again the MV window. And now let's put again label and dimension for the third drawing let's put dimension on the length and the width and then let's just copy the text and then edit
Now let us label the third drawing as 1 is to 200. And then our zoom extends. So now we have a 1 is to 200 scale drawing of a 20 by 10 meter rectangle inside a 24 by 18 inches paper. You can add more drawings inside your paper with different scales of your need as long as you, there are still space. Again, please be reminded that, that the drawings that we have in the model space should have a 1 is to 1 scale. And again, 1 is to 1 means that the distances that you get when you measure the lines are the values that you put in when you were creating those lines. After you have finalized all the skills of all the drawings inside your paper, you can lock all the MV or model view windows. So you select the rectangle of the MVs then you right click, then look for display lock, then zoom extends. So that's it guys, this is how we do a basic skill and put together drawings with different skills in one paper. If you have something you think that needs clarifications, just comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. And please hit like and share this to everyone you know who use AutoCAD. And if you subscribe now, I can send you notifications and updates whenever I create a new video so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching.